Hey, what's up, everybody? It's right inside the 2 o'clock hour here in the city of Muskegon. And that means it's time for Making Moves Monday with Jan Ross right here on 103.7 The Beat every Monday right uh, at, uh, at, at 2 o'clock. But, you know, things happen. Um, so uh, just again, you know, I always recap the weekend. Shout out to everybody who attended the Black Tie this weekend. Everybody looked lovely. Seems like you all had a wonderful time. I was working. Sorry. Uh, but, you know, people came out after, came to the hideout after um, the Black Tie and I got, you know, a chance to you know, talk to some of the people and everybody said they had a really, really good time. It was nice and classy. So keep it going, Muskegon. Make sure you are supporting um, all of the events that people bring to you. Um, so today we are talking about staffing here in Muskegon. So we've seen, you know, all these companies with uh, the now hiring signs out. There's a big, big demand for people. Um, you know, and, and jobs are out there. So today on the show with me, I have uh, Will Roberson, who is the CEO of Shoreline Staffing here in Muskegon. And then I also have Michael Sarter, um, who I forget the name of the company that he works for. I'm sorry, Michael, what's the name of the company? Uh, workforce Employment Specialist. Workforce Employment Specialist, which is out of Grand Rapids, but there will be opening a new location here in Muskegon um, in January. So welcome to the show, guys. Thank, thank you. you thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, um, first of all, definitely want to just say I appreciate, you know, what you guys do um, as far as helping people find jobs here um, on the Lakeshore and West Michigan area. Um, Michael, welcome to Muskegon. Yeah, we actually have we have a branch right now in Muskegon. This will be our second location in Muskegon. Oh, OK. Yep. yep. OK. This awesome. will be our sixth location. Um, in West Michigan. So okay. We have three in Grand Rapids. Yep. We have, we have three in Grand Rapids. Uh, we have uh, two in Muskegon and uh -huh. then uh, one, one in Holland. So. Okay. And so do you do, is that just the main kind of um, places that you do staffing for us, places in Grand Rapids, Holland, and Muskegon or? Yeah, we do venture out. We've done some stuff in other states. We've done stuff in Georgia, Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana, but we started here in West Michigan 12 years ago. Uh, mm -hmm. and have that's been our main focus is West Michigan and and with some availability uh, to expand in Muskegon. Very, very excited to be able to expand in Muskegon. Um, being somebody who is from Muskegon originally, I know there's a lot of hardworking people, a lot of hardworking talent in Muskegon, and to be able to give an opportunity to community is, is uh, really exciting for us. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, so Shoreline, you know, is also, they do the same thing. Um, provide the opportunities for people here in Muskegon as well. How are things going over at Shoreline, Will? Uh, things going great, actually. Um, at a time where the industry usually says we're going to be slowing down, we're actually picking mm -hmm. up. Um, so yeah. people get exactly. back to work. Yeah. And exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's normally a ramp down this time of year, Will, you know. And uh, mm -hmm. to be to be peak, I, I don't even think we're peaking. I think normally we would see 30 40% reduction in business this time of year um, and opportunities for people to work. And, and right now it's as, as busy as we've ever been um, in terms of opening and a lot of good, a lot of good quality openings. And I can't speak for Will, but I can tell you definitively, like uh, I think one of the, one of the bad raps that we get in staffing is that people think of us as being temporary, temporary. Your people say temp all the time mm -hmm. and in workforce uh, temp is a four letter word in our organization it's not something <laughs> that i it's not something we allow to, our, our folks to say uh we refer to, to our to, to the people who come and work with workforce as talent um uh -huh. we have a we have about 700 openings west michigan wide with about 100 oh wow hours. yeah yep between muskegon holland and grand rapids we've we've been as high as 1100 um and we're down around 700 openings right now in west michigan about 150 of those in in the muskegon um North Ottawa County, so that Grand Haven area, you know, old Grand Haven Road, that area. Mm -hmm. um, and I would say 98% of that 700 jobs, everything there is contract to hire. So all of our okay. employers, all of the clients that we work with, they're saying, we don't want to bring somebody in for two weeks, four weeks, six weeks, and then see you later. Bye. It's uh -huh. We, we want this talent. We want to retain this talent. We want to keep this talent. Everybody's going to get, as people would say, uh, full-time employment. Everybody is going to be hired uh, if, if they want that opportunity. So I think it's a, it's a really exciting time for you to get an opportunity at, at employers like a, uh, um, 
a Herman Miller mm -hmm. challenge. Uh, some of the places that when I was growing up, it was like, man, that's that's a career place. Your Hayworths and your and 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 the like, right? And it, right, uh, well, these are places I, I that would, people do twenty five and thirty years at. Yeah, yeah, I would say Meridian. I'm old. I don't want to date myself. But I right. Say, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Meridian, I remember you know? in college working for Integrated Metals. Now, ha ha ha. I, I how <laughs> how old am I? Actually, that's that's right. always powder coat. <laughs> yeah, you go to powder coat, right? So, uh, yeah, yes, yes. And some of these places are, are are. I mean, these were destination jobs or career jobs, right? So now people have this opportunity to to latch on and and to to stay for forever. And if you want to stay, you know, and get some flexibility, uh, we have we have programs and services out there where we offer people what we call workforce now, where we let people pick schedules. So if you want to work three days a week, you can you you can pick your three days. You'll get text notifications and alerts. Hey, this schedule got dropped. Do you want to pick it up? And these are not fast food jobs. These are skilled light industrial type roles where people can pick up schedules and work around those kinds of things. Um, with now, I think that's so important, uh, yeah. you know, for me, I mean, cause that's kind of how my schedule is. Um, very, very flexible. So, because you never know what's going to happen, you know, with the kids at school and, you know, uh, they could be let go on a half a day or whatever. Cause you know, of all the, um, threats and stuff that are coming in. So yeah. anything can happen and parents do need that flexibility. So that's a great program to have for people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So Will, um, how did you, you, you were fairly newer to the staffing industry um, here in Muskegon. What need did you see that made you say, you know what, I'm going to start a, staff, a staffing service? Yeah. I mean, being a former caseworker, um, I saw the need. Um, I knew mm -hmm. everyone that, Every time someone applies for benefits with the state of Michigan, you have to interview them. So mm -hmm. every conversation I had, people were telling me what was preventing from going to work. Um, so when I came into this thing, um, I took those things into consideration and we decided we're going to move those obstacles so people can get to work, you know, for their scheduled shifts. Um, so we do like daycare. We do 30 percent of daycare and we do 50 percent of transportation. Um, we partnered with some transportation companies in Muskegon to help people get to work. That's all I heard was I don't have anybody watch the kids or I have a way to get to work. Mm -hmm. um, so when we came into this thing, we, we, we attacked it head on and moved those obstacles from the very beginning so that people can get to work. And, and, is, and just to is that, back on, go ahead, on what sorry. Mike was saying, yeah, we don't we don't use that word temp either because um, because with that comes a mentality. You know, it's temp. It's temporary. I'm not going to be here. So people don't perform at the highest level because they're like, it's going to use me for a couple of weeks and throw me away anyways. Um, yeah. so, mm -hmm. so here at Shoreline, we call our 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 temps. We don't call them temps. We call them team members. So we're part of a team. We're all in this together. And, mm -hmm. and we try to um, push that with the companies as well. So they're not singling them out and separating them from the rest of the company, rest of the exactly. company. They're yeah. part of the team as well. So it takes, yeah. like, it takes all of us to make this thing work. Absolutely. Yeah. I remember, um, like I said, in college, you know, that's, I went through temp services to get, um, you know, just some jobs, you know, to fill in during break or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think it's important to make or to have the company also accept those employees as team members because I didn't always feel like that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It was sometimes it was so hostile. I'm like, you know what? After break, I'm not going back. I'm not saying y'all should do that. Don't be like me. Okay. Don't in that. <laughs> do don't, not don't, be don't, like don't, me. I was, I was young. I was very, very young then, <laughs> you know, 18 and 19. But then I also, you know, that kind of let me know too. It's that. almost like, it's almost like segregation. I, I also work in temp agencies. And yep. every time mm -hmm. I'll be sitting there at the table by myself, nobody come over and talk to me, or the company would have a, a company meeting, but you had to be hired in to attend that meeting. Um, yep. So now we're sitting here, everybody's up in this meeting, uh, having snacks or whatever they're doing up there, and now right. I'm down there working. You know, so giving away like, turkeys and hams yeah, or whatever for the holidays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Any of that. Yeah. Right. Any of that. But the culture yeah. changed now. They're starting That's to be good. more inclusive. That's awesome. That's awesome. So um, I know both of you said that there's a, a upswing in work out there. Why do you think that is? Why do you think these companies now are looking at um, staff and services even more um, to bring people in and fill those positions? There's, there's a greater need. Um, with the pandemic, I mean, they were shut down for so long. So those orders were still coming in. I mean, they still people still needed parts. Um, so, they're, so now that that gate is open back up, they're filling mm -hmm. needs and there's so many so many opportunities so people can pick and choose where they want to go. Like I'm not, I'll start here for a couple of weeks. I'm going to go over here because they're paying me a dollar 50 more. Um, oh, yeah. So I think the, the need is greater and people have options. So 
when those when those when they fill fill leave to fill those other spots, someone has to fill in behind them. Um, yeah. But every yeah. company that we're working with right now is looking to hire full time. Like Michael was speaking on earlier, like it's not a temporary position; it's an actual mm-hmm. career. Um, and yeah, these are career to, jobs. Yeah, they did. They need to attack it with that mentality instead of you know just a job to fill in here and there. Although we do have those two those short term contracts, but for the most part, everybody's looking to they're looking to get hired in. Yeah, you can you you yeah you can make them short, right? You can make them as short as you want. You could first break, second break, whatever. You know. You yeah, know, right. You know, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can make them as short as you want it, but, but <laughs> the opportunity to do that is there. Um, I, I I would agree with Will. The, the pandemic hit. I, mm. I was doing some looking, and I think sometimes like we get. I, I don't want to date myself. Ever, ever, there was this perception there was this millennials coming out of the pandemic and the, the unemployment benefits and all these other things that were being offered to people. And it was hard to bring people back into the workforce because there was a point in time where people made more money to stay at home Absolutely. than they did to go to work. There was a good period. But now, if again, I don't want to date myself, but... Uh, the, oh, the you're first, fine. About 10 years ago, 15 years ago, they had a great recession, right? And, like all these baby boomers got stuck, had to go back to work. Remember that? I uh-huh. know, they, remember that? Mm-hmm. Well, they got their money back, right? The, the stock market went up through the roof and you got Bitcoin and dough and all this other stuff. And now what's happened is those people who were supposed to retire 10 years ago, but couldn't, can. So yeah. they, they're all leaving. Yeah. And so now you have to backfill that, that vacuum. And that's why I think you see that buildup in these quote unquote, what we call these career positions the 25, 30 year veterans at your Herman Miller's, at your Delphi, at your Hayworth, at your, uh, good, I mean, I mean, American Grease Stick. I mean, I can go on at the CWC. I remember growing up, you couldn't, man, you had to push somebody down a flight of stairs to get a job to at get CWC. It. I know that's, that's right. right. <laughs> Absolutely. And now they got a banner and balloons and all kinds of crazy <laughs> stuff out front. Like mm. it was just, you know what I mean? And, and so th- those folks have retired. And so, somebody's got to go to work right and that's what's crazy everybody like I, it, we don't have this on the shelf we don't have that on the shelf well if you go to work <laughs> so right it'll, it'll end up on the shelf at some point right yeah yeah that's what, people always ask me how do you find you know such flexible jobs and you know such good jobs i'm like i look you know <laughs> right. you you gotta look for a job they don't just come to that's you right. you know well sometimes they do, but, yeah <laughs> but yeah you have to look for it i was on indeed every day you know, looking for oh, something no, that. For you. Let me tell you, look, we'll go to pick them up at home. He ain't playing. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's right. That's, that's the truth. That's right. right. I mean, We're taking away those excuses. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, what are what will uh, what's the mission statement for your company? Like, you know, what is what is the mission for your company? What are you setting out to do for the community? Uh, my mission statement is. is uh, Right, right candidate, right position. Um, so a lot of times people get forced in into positions they're not qualified for, or mm-hmm. it's not a good fit for them, and they don't they don't stick around. So we we vet we vet each and every one of our team members to make sure that we put you in a position and set you up to succeed from the very beginning, instead of just putting you know, putting a butt in the seat, so to speak. And when you're gone, we push another one in there. No, we want you to stick. So so we vet them. So it's right candidate, right position. And me being from Muskegon, you know, I care about what happens around here, and that's where that. That servitude came from. That's why I offer those extra things mm-hmm. um, that come off my bottom line. There's no grants. Um, the company's not paying for it. It's not built in expense. That's coming directly off my bottom line uh, because I care about my community. I care about the people here and I want to see them succeed. And I know there's a correlation between lack of opportunity and crime. I mean, yes. Yeah. yeah you're going yeah. to be on the streets all day. You're going to get into something you shouldn't be getting into. <laughs> That's well, true. So many people, and, and we're very felony friendly. And I had those conversations with the companies. I was that was going to be my next question. You know, yes. are people with colorful back, backgrounds? Yeah, um, yeah. You know, can they still you know come out and apply for these positions? Absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely, absolutely. Um, within reason. I mean, you can't be a serial you know serial killer and think somebody's going to give you a job. <laughs> <laughs> but but people make mistakes, and we make bad decisions. We all we all have made them. Um, so yeah. I just don't think they should be. Je- Double jeopardy. I call it double jeopardy. I already did my time. I did my parole. Now I can't. I come home. I can't get a job. And if it's a drug related, I can't go to school. I can't get any financial aid. Um, mm-hmm. So we just try to give them more opportunities. And so many people are grateful um, that we're that we're doing that because they can't go anywhere else and go through anyone else. Mm-hmm. Um, most are grateful. There's still some that kind of you know disappoint <laughs> you, but mm-hmm. that's you know that's, that comes with the territory. 
Right. So, Michael, same question. How's the what's the mission statement for the company that you work for? Uh, it's, you know, um, our, our 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 tagline is um, our your success is our business. Right. Oh, okay. uh, your success is our business. That's a good one. Yes, yeah, it is. yeah. It, it, yeah it, and it applies both to, you know, one of the things that I, I tell folks I've been doing this God, 12 or 15 years and I've worked for global companies and, and, and decided to come home. And, and work locally. And one of the things we tell people all the time when they come to work for us internally or externally as a recruiter or, or whatever, uh, an account manager, it doesn't matter, is you have multiple bosses in this job. Mm -hmm. you, you work for the company, you work for the, so the, the talent, and you work for the client. And you have to pick and choose the opportunities that you take to be an advocate for one of those three, mm -hmm. right? And, and in, at the end of the day, it, it starts with the talent. Because we got opportunity, I, I can say six or seven hundred openings, right? And it mm -hmm. sounds impressive because that's the first thing you go get. But it's kind of a chicken or the egg experience. You can have the openings and no one to fill them. That that does nothing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so so it starts with the talent and the availability of the talent. And we, you know, as far bringing that stuff back to the community, uh, because we have multiple communities that we work in, we try to tailor our experience and what we give back. To those communities my my sister is now is now on board with us as a recruiter and we both from muskegon graduated from muskegon high school uh proud big reds always happen so, <laughs> yeah that's, that's cool that's all right <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I read you i read you i know what i think you out first i knew what i was saying i knew what i was saying <laughs> so, so uh so so we try to you know we want to give back um be able to give back and the best way to like well like you give people an opportunity you teach a man to fish right Mm -hmm. And you want to give them that opportunity. We too are fel felony friendly. As a matter of fact, workforce doesn't have a hiring requirement. Mm -hmm. Right now, we currently have 68 active clients that are looking for talent in West Michigan, right? Um, about 30, about half of those. So 30, 30, I think, are active right now in Muskegon County. So we let them decide. Mm -hmm. You choose. So we don't, you, if you have xyz situation in your past we tell you look okay we have somebody who's willing to work with this somebody's willing to work with that xyz but we don't we let let them pick because i think we, second chance i get all that but I, the idea is if you paid that debt to society how can you hold it? have you really if you hold it against the next man you want them to be integrated you want to come back and give be be a positive member of the community how do i do that without producing, without, imp without being, it doesn't, it makes absolutely makes no sense. So we just, we just take down that barrier to begin with. Let's see what we can do, right. Um, to, to help people out and get them on their feet. And right now, many, many, what we found is many, 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 many more employers are getting on board with that idea. Um, mm -hmm. and so it's been able to help us. We use a, uh, we help have a little phrases. We use a term called best match dispatch, right? We got to match you up with the right people come in, man, I want to do this. I want to do that. I need to be on the bus line or I need to be here first shift. And, and maybe we don't have it or I want to make this amount of money and work this shift. OK, I always tell people I've been telling people just for years. Don't let desperation make your choice. Right. You will not be you, happy. You will not <laughs> be happy. Look, you, you take a job on Monday because the, the, the light that the, the light bill is due. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Aaron's is in the driveway looking for their stuff. Right. And then what? And then you're like, I'm going to take this job on Monday because I got to go down and make this payment arrangement, do my thing, whatever, because I got to pay this bill on Wednesday. But by Wednesday, the job don't work. You can't get your daycare lined up. You can't get your ride lined up. And by Thursday, you're going to quit. But by that Tuesday, the right job didn't open. You took the bad one on Monday. The right one opened on Tuesday. The right opportunity will come if you just stay patient. We will find it. We'll make it work for you. We will right now as an employee, especially as a talent, man, is you just wait. Take a deep breath. Wait. We'll work with you. We will work with you. We offer different kinds of services. You come down, you get signed up. We we offer pay advances. And within reason, obviously, uh, if you got hours in, we can do pay advances. Uh, we offer pay cards that are just not just pay cards. They're actually online bank accounts. There's no mm -hmm. check for the FDIC. Uh because we know people got you got to get people back on their feet. Yeah. So you can have the dignity, the respect that comes along with not only do I have a debit card, it's not a prepaid card. 
I got a I got a checking account with a routing number, a savings account. They, you know what I mean? Stuff people want and need to have to make it day to day, make it week to week. A lot of different services. We have uh, uh, what we call um, our employee assistance services. So if you stressed, you got problems, you need counseling, we offer that to you and your immediate family. This is day one. We offer benefits, health benefits, medical insurance. Day one, mm. all of our to all of our employees. Come in, hey, got a job? Here, here's your offer, because we, we want to be able to to do that for people, um, and offer them career opportunities, not just a job, not something right. for today. Right. Any um, do either of you offer any type of training services for employees? Um, we are part of what Michigan Works. Um, they do a lot of stuff down that's not being utilized, um, mm -hmm. so there's no need to reinvent the wheel. We just send people that way um, to get those trainings. Some of us are online, some of us in person. Um, they even pay for some things. Or if you want to be a plumber or if you're already a plumber, they buy you tools. Um, so we can we connect with Michigan Works um, and to get that the, those trainings and things done. Um, okay. And something else I wanted to say too was about as um, far as the hiring pool, it's opened up because the legalization of marijuana. Um, yep. So I was going THC to is no longer an issue. Um, so yep. more people are going to work. I mean, some people love their Mary Jane. They don't want to give it up. You know, so, <laughs> <laughs> so, so now, so now that's not an issue. So that brought more people, you know, into the hiring pool yeah. as well. So yeah, our companies, our companies, kind of following along with that guideline too, and being more relaxed on um, doing the the drug test for marijuana. Like yeah, I can see doing the drug test for the other stuff, but you still, know, we, yeah, we're still testing for the other stuff. But yeah, uh, most, not all, but most are saying uh, they don't care about THC. Um, yeah, okay. I would say where it used to be. The exception would be the people who would accept it. It's flip flop. Mm -hmm. The exception, the the the, it, the people who aren't accepting of THC are the exception. I mean, there are some other places you want to be careful. I think when you're talking about operating heavy equipment, forklift right. drivers, you, you can't do that. And that's that. That's not gonna. That ain't gonna fly, right? But but mm -hmm. for almost every other employer, yeah, it's they're just the the standard has totally changed. So that's, that's good too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Um. God, what else was I about to ask you? Um, recruitment. So how we know now that I'm getting something. Hold on. Sorry. OK. Um, we know now that, um, you know, you guys are, um, Michael, you're opening a second location here in Muskegon. Well, you've been in Muskegon um, for over a year now, right? Yeah, almost almost two. Oh, yay. Um, awesome. What what That's are you awesome. guys doing for recruitment purposes? I mean, um, how how can how can people, you know, come and see what you're talking about? Um, word of mouth has been huge for us. Like yeah. I, we don't we really don't have to pick up the phone and call people because they're coming through the door and they're calling us. Um, and, and, you know, based on the services and, and people, people are talking like go to Shoreline, go to Shoreline. So it's been it's been that. Um, but of course, we got the paid advertisement as well. Um, mm -hmm. Social media is huge these days. So we're doing a social media thing. Um, yeah. So just go to the website, get registered and we'll, we'll reach out. OK. Yeah, we do that. I mean, we have positions posted um, mostly on Indeed. We do a lot of stuff with Indeed. Uh, Michigan Works, we do a lot of work with them. Um, and then our website at teamworkforce.com. Um, word of mouth. I, I'm, I mean, I keep saying I don't want to date myself, but it's clear that I'm, I'm no spring chicken out here. But <laughs> I, 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 we like the, I like to get people on the phone. We do do texting, right? So uh -huh. part of our on-demand scheduling, even uh, when we do that stuff, when you when you log in and sign up with Workforce, if you opt into our 24/7 um, into our app, um, it will allow us to text communication back and forth to you. Right, mm -hmm. push notifications if a job comes open with a specific pay rate or a specific shift. If you join in our, what we call our Workforce Now program, where you're allowed to kind of pick, not only can you pick your shift, you can pick your employer. Mm. So you can say, hey, if you get qualified, let's say you come in and you get qualified for a job and you qualify to work machine operator A and you can work for companies A, B, and C, they'll, they all three will send you shifts and say, hey, through text, they'll push notification you and send you, say, hey, I, I have shift open from you know six to two, here, here, and here. You can take mm -hmm. them, you can turn them down. Um, you can see you'll see, often you'll see just like a, in in this fashion, where the shifts when they start to uh, get bunched up, where there's too many open, they'll offer a little bonus, a little spiff. Might pay twelve dollars, and they say no, we're going to pay it twelve dollars plus a twenty five dollars show up bonus for the week. 
different things like there's some really neat stuff out there uh, so we're available all the platforms our website's going to be uh, uh, updated here uh pretty soon but mostly on the web um we're mobile friendly obviously there too text uh, mm -hmm. all over uh congrats will i don't know if you heard me man but congratulations having it starting starting a staffing agency from scratch and, and staying open uh, being open and being positive like that man for two years is an amazing amazing thing that is that's awesome thanks man appreciate it appreciate it oh yeah yes and so um uh we're gonna get ready to wrap up here in a minute but i want to let the people know where they can find you michael i know you guys have a location here already and mm -hmm. also i want to say thank you guys so much for just giving these opportunities to people um you know to get back on their feet to you know just have a source of income um it's very important people got families to take care of you know Absolutely. Absolutely. so Absolutely. Yep. yeah it's definitely something that's needed definitely something that's needed in our community um so how can people michael get in touch with you i know you guys are opening a new location here in muskegon in january tell us about that where it's located and uh where the current location is yep uh, so our new location will be open on monday january 3rd um you can either go to teamworkforce.com uh, but the address is 950 west norton uh, okay. suite d it's right next to jets and walmart right off, okay basically off of what i would say henry right off of Norton and Henry right there. Um, and then our current location is uh, on Harvey Street, 5916 Harvey, right right next to um, the Mexican restaurant down there um, on Harvey down by the mall next to Lake mm -hmm. Michigan Credit Union. So uh, be more than happy to take you out of the location if you have any questions or issues. Uh, you can call us at 616-396-3700. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And Will, where, where can they find you at? Um, we're, our address is 3036 Sheffield Street, um, Suite C. Um, I always tell people we're right behind Mr. Scribbs on Henry Street. And make, that makes it real simple. Everybody knows. That, that is simple. Is we all yeah. know what Mr. Scribbs is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to date myself. It's, it's the old mouse house, isn't that? Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> That's the good one. Yeah, it's, 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 it's that building. It's that building. Uh, oh, my goodness. 231 <laughs> Um, social media, Shoreline Staffing, website is shorelinestaffing.com. And everything, mostly everything is done electronically. So by the time you mm -hmm. walk in that door, we already got everything we need from you. Um, you've been onboarded. Uh, we have your information, your personal information. Uh, and just coming in just to uh, show us your ID, let us know you're legal to work in the States, man, and we'll get you to work. Yeah. All right. And, Will, how many positions do you have open right about now? Uh, currently, we're probably between 70, 75, somewhere up in there. Um, okay. like I said, but but it's growing every day. Like we're adding companies, we're still adding companies, and I wasn't expecting that. I appreciate it, but I wasn't expecting <laughs> it. So, yeah, right, so, right, so right. we're adding jobs. We're in jobs all the time, man, and, and it's just a good time to be be in the field. Um, I stepped yeah. out on faith. I never worked in an agency before. I never did staffing before. Um, oh, baby, I did. Job. <laughs> and I just, I did. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you that. Man. I not only worked for, you know, was a temp before, I'm sorry, not a temp, a team member. Uh, not only was I that before, but I also worked in an office as a staffing supervisor and mm -hmm. uh, on-site supervisor. So oh. it is no easy task. Mm -hmm. I do want to say that, you know, it is no easy task. And um, again, I commend the people that do this for a living and mm -hmm. want to provide that service. Yeah. So, um, we're, yeah, no problem. Um, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up the show. Anything last minute you guys want to say before we wrap up? Uh, yeah, get registered. Come, come. We got jobs. Come get jobs, man. <laughs> come get jobs. Go get, get this right? money. If you serious, you know waste my time or your time. If you're not ready to go to work yet, don't go to work yet. I mean, it's that simple. You have an option. You have choices. Um, but, yeah, get registered, shorelinestaffing.com, and, and come in. We have shifts on all positions. Um, Muskegon, Grand Haven is where we're we're where we're located at as far as jobs. Uh, that's where we're focusing on. That's where uh -huh. the jobs are. Um, so we're looking to expand as well. I'm um, going to Grand Haven and Holland, um, but right now we're handling everything from this Muskegon location and, and tell them. But those mm -hmm. are the plans to stretch out a little more. Yes, yes, Michael. Yes, same here. I I, would, I, would, I never heard the term. He said, "Get rested." I love it. I love it. Get rested. <laughs> it's it's Christmas. Holidays are up, but come the first of the year, man, it's time to get back to work. Yes. Um, and the opportunities out there, we've seen a substantial, we didn't talk about it, but I'll just throw it out. We have seen a substantial hike in pay rates. We got where it used to be yes. $10 an hour was a good pay rate. $12. If you got into the teens, look out. You were, you were being overrun. Right now, we got jobs that start at 15 and go to 20. 
Absolutely. Okay. And so yep. there is opportunity. Yeah, they're out there. Out there. Definitely. They're, 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 you better get it while it's hot, man. It is yep. out there. Let's let's go back to work in 2022, you know? Definitely. Absolutely. All right, Muskegon, they're giving you the come up right here. Uh, <laughs> they got jobs. I mean, they got plenty of them. So there is no reason why, you know, everybody can't be doing well, going to work every day, enjoying life, enjoying what you do. Um, you know, and looking forward to that good old paycheck on Friday. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Again, guys, I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of the day. Um, again, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for what you do. Um, you know, as far as getting people jobs and just, you know, giving back to the community. Um, Michael, nice to meet you. Didn't know oh, yeah. you before today. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nice to meet you, Michael. Didn't know you before good, today. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Heard about you. Heard about you. Yeah. All right. Shout out to Michelle, too, for connecting uh, Michael and I, uh, you know, giving that call. So, again, location, new location is open in January 3rd. Um, Location here already open for um, the other uh, location for them and for Will. So, listen, y'all, I'm going to say it again. The jobs are there. They need the people. So, you know, you got that graduate that was sitting on the couch. You know, he graduated last year. You looking at him funny. He looking at you funny. <laughs> Tell him to go get a job. <laughs> it's, time. it's 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 Listen. Time for sure. All right. Well, thanks again. Y'all remember, as always, I said every week, collaboration over competition. Y'all keep Absolutely. it locked right here. 103.7 The Beat coming up inside the 3 o'clock hour. It's the afternoon jams. Y'all keep it locked.